Okay, so this is Tamboti, uh, tent number 12. This is, as you can see, it's good for people with disabilities. So we start outside and then we have two chairs there and a table. And we also have, we also have a bin there and a kind of a bench. Return Leonard Smith, the museum as you can see. Leonard Smith there and Leonie Jansen van Furen and also have a price stand there which is movable which is cool and we also well, yes, there's a nice view here so we also have two cages there's a fridge in the cage and a fridge and a cage for food so what we'll do here also brought some cable ties for we'll tie this a cable ties to see how it works because someone advised me to bring cable ties and then I did bring them. So I just need to figure out how I tie this at night before we sleep for the honey badgers since we won't be staying during the day. So I don't think there will be any bubble, no monkeys from now on. But uh, we'll just log anyway when we go to the sunset drive. Okay, so let's get into the tent. So the tent, there is a place where we have to put your stuff there and it's only two beds. This is some of our stuff, the camera there. Uh, and this didn't come here. We've only found, even the cable switch there was not there. It's only a fan and a box there. And I haven't figured out how to switch on the lights, but definitely I uh, will figure it out pretty soon. Oh, there, okay. So this is the switch for the light here. So it's on, nice. And then, yeah, nice pages there. You can just, it's basically a tent with two beds. And there's a storage for the clothes, there's blankets as well. We also brought extra blankets. We heard about Tambotis being very cold at some point, but now it's summer. So winter, you might want to bring extra blankets. And yeah, so yeah, it's kind of quite cool. Um, kind of quite cool here. I love it already. The view, I can't wait. I've been warned by the neighbors about the honey badgers who are harassing this area. So yeah, if it comes there at night, there's a light as well. I'll be able to grab a perfect video for the honey badger doing nonsense. So we'll wait for that. And then we'll buy when we come back from the sunset drive and then uh, also do a sunset drive review. How it went yesterday, we did one at a Pretoria scope, which was awesome. I've never seen so many chameleons in my life than I did this last night. So yeah, uh, this is the view around the tent. And then you can see there, um, it is next to the Timbabati riverbed. So uh, upon our arrival, we saw some vultures there at the top of the tree. And then uh, if uh, you move to uh, focus to the river, we can see game like uh, we saw, I think I saw some nyanas there and then some antelopes and then some hyenas at night and then a lot of honey badgers I think we might have seen about maybe five different honey badgers because I could see them they were coming straight on line and then you could hear another one moving on the side and then another one approaching uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any honey badger inside the, the camp itself or any civet. We were sleep, we slept very early after coming back from the drive. So yeah, it's very, it's a very nice view. I think if it, the river is flowing uh, during summer, now that we get a little bit of rain, it will be a nice place to chill out. You don't really have to go out on a camp drive. You can just sit in front of your tent and then um, watch game coming by the river and then enjoy yourself there with a cup of beer with a, a glass of beer or gin or whatever you would like so yeah for the for this uh, for a tumble you need to check in at uh, one thing i forgot to mention you need to check in at open and then at open there there is a um, a pool which you can go during the day and chill out because this place is very hot and then yeah you can chill out there and then come here it's a very nice view even though it's summer it's bushy and it's private you cannot really see on the other tent like coming when you are approaching the tent so it's it's very nice I and mean, i like it 
I like the view around, even the night view. Uh, shortly, I think I'll show you guys the the honey badger. It's not the perfect uh, images or video that you could get, but at least it's something that we can really uh, work with. Uh, I really like the vultures there. I have to focus back to them again. So yeah, this was it's awesome. I mean, um, had a very good time at Tamboti. Definitely will go back again. Yeah, we're looking at the honey badger there in the middle of the screen. It's moving, moving to the right, no? There in the middle, yeah, you can see there. Try to change the right a bit. Yeah, it's not tricky. Let me hold you it, yeah. So yeah, this is the application blocks at uh, Tambodi. So they are basically behind unit number 12, 11, 10, and 12, and 9. They are the one closest so, to the application blocks. Maybe you should ask for that once you book here. But it's not that close. <laughs> to me, it looks the same. Eh? So this is a sighting board which is not updated. Um, the application block support for disability and there are some tents for disability people so i'm just gonna go to the male ones so there's an enclosure here probably probably for, for the monkeys um one thing i noticed here first time i enter is this place is very clean the ablation blocks are clean and then someone uh, left the tap water running so probably a kid so yeah these are the toilets they look very clean and then there one two and i like these stickers too eh? and the color so perfect and i also have this part here it seems like it's three 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 showers as well and there's a bench there for someone to wait if the queue is long i guess yeah so let me just switch to ultra white Okay, seems like I can't switch. Okay, so yeah, these are the ablation blocks. It really looks very good. I love it already. I, to be honest, I am blown away. And then this side is a small communal kitchen. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's more than one. So as you can see there as well, uh, seems like if you want to do some laundry, you have to go to open camp is about maybe less than five kilometers even though yes i think there is some place where you can do laundry and wash and then we do have a stove this side and a water boiler uh, i'm not sure if it's working it doesn't seem to be on and some water there let's check if there's water coming up for sure they actually even even on the other tap for cold water that is hot food because it's freaking hot today and then we have another set here so it's one two and here there's no boiler there's an oven same thing here two stoves and a dishwashing there and a stove here so it's only one oven i think it saves all the units here but some units do have um, some stuff inside I think it's quite cool. I think there's another way for some people to stay that side. Yeah. So yeah, uh, in summary, uh, if you book in Tamboti or Marula, for example, those are the two satellite camps for uh, for open. You need to check in and open, and then that's where you can access facilities like a pool and a shop there. Uh, Tamboti, they don't have a shop to stock anything, and then you have to buy everything at uh, open gate or open camp. So the shop is well stocked because almost everything that you can think of from baby nappies to uh, your tongs and whatever, everything uh, that you can think of, you can get it at a shop there. And then um, since the, 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 the Tamboti camp does not have any of those at all. 
so yeah the tent itself there are actually two types uh, of tents there is luxury ones and the normal ones the standard ones the standard one is the one that i stayed in which does not have a uh, bathroom inside and then luxury ones they they, they that's a new ones actually they do have um they do have uh anything they do they do have bathrooms inside so if you are not happy with the issue of going to the ablation blocks at night and it's quite bushy there uh, you might want to try out your the, the 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 more luxurious one they're just they were going for about 1.5 or so which is still quite affordable for the price and then there are the kitchenaid is quite uh, well maintained it's clean and the microwave oven was very clean just make sure that uh, when you go there, you have the right equipment to hold. Let's say, for example, hold water. If you're going to need hot water on your tent, I saw a, a lady there almost burning herself uh, with the hot water. Uh, uh, fortunately, nothing bad happened. And then, yeah, the ablation blocks, as I mentioned, they are very clean, well kept. I was impressed. And they are not so busy. You go there, and if you go for sunset drive, that's all the ablation blocks actually. That's where the meeting 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 point as well. If you wanna go for the the rise there. So in terms of the area itself, I mean there there are quite a few issues, and for me it's all about being there. I focus more on the positives, and 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 there's a lot of positives to take from Tamboti. I mean. Uh, uh, the view that you can you get uh, in the area there and uh, the serenity and then uh, the fence view even though the water the timber river bed is dry uh, i mean it's, it's it's outstanding so there are issues there with the monkeys uh, which is a big problem so if you stay there do not leave food on your in your tent keep as much as you can in your car or put in a cage so what you can do is you can just bring cable ties and then make a plan to close or maybe just get something that uh, will make it hard for monkeys to open the food cage and the fridge cage so that you are safe otherwise though the monkeys and the baboons are very smart they can tear down the tent if one if they see something that they're interested in and then if you leave stuff in your car as well make sure that you close the windows properly don't leave your windows uh, half open on all of that and then there's an issue another issue is the honey badgers which i didn't experience both these issues i didn't experience though uh, is the standard issues that i was told when i checked in at uh, open and the general view everyone that i communicate with around the camp they tell me about these issues to be aware of so it's, it's good to know in well in advance before you can head out to tamboti so yeah the, the the honey badgers are not so much a problem but for some people it is a problem because they come around try to open the bins uh, looking for something there and you don't have to feed the food don't feed the don't feed the honey badgers and the hyenas that come around so yeah, those are the issues that you need to be aware of. For the honey badger, if you put everything in a cage, you should be fine. They should wouldn't be open to they won't be able to open the cage. But the bin they will definitely come through and open. So if you have some trash or off meat, uh, we did we did have some off meat. So what we did is we just took the meat with us and then we threw it at open camp where we know that it won't attract any honey badgers to harass the bean and all of that. So this is for the safety of the animals, not feeding them. So in terms of game viewing, obviously, um, you can see a lot of monkeys if you're around. You can see a lot of baboons, hyenas. There's a few things that are guaranteed that you'll see. And then there is some antelopes that come around. If you're lucky, there's elephants as well removing, rem roaming the area. And there is a resident water park. Uh, no, 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 bush park that we saw at night when we're coming back from the game drive so game viewing around the area i mean it's no brainer uh, the road there's a road leading to satara so it's very good on our night drive for example we saw completed the uh, during our stay actually we managed to see the big five it's a big five area and then uh, this included like three rhinos at one sighting which was a mara and a calf and a bull so you also stand a chance to see the Birmingham subadult emails, eh, subadult uh, lions, the white ones. So which are like so, Marula and uh, Tambodi, they are in the boundary, 
in the Timbaba T Kruger National Park boundary. And these two sabadas they are mostly seen around the open area, even in the open uh, water hole next to the open camp as well. They have been seen there. So the time we were there, I think uh, we missed them, but we saw their fresh tracks. This, uh, the guide told us like they were there the previous day, they, had a, they, they, they were in a kill for like two days. So uh, if you go there and then take a drive, you stand a good chance of seeing um, those Sabadas white lions. Otherwise, you can drive to Satara, do your S100, H6 there. You have a good chance of seeing the other white lion, Casper, as well. So it's only three white lions in the Kuga National Park at the moment. So yeah, I think that's all. So yeah, uh, thanks once again for watching until the end. All the best uh, for your next trips to Kuga National Park. Cheers.